<laughs> Put it in uh, Discord. Oh yeah. It's corn hats versus bangs, right? Okay. Yeah. The NFC South is looking dangerous. Projected quarterbacks: Desmond Ritter, James Winston, Matt Coral. Look, did you Kyle turn Trask. your microphone on? Cause I'm on the stream on the Expo. Oh, never mind. I didn't hear you for a second. <laughs> you monkey! Hi, welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this broadcast of the VHL Season Two Playoffs Round One. Today, we're going to be looking at the number one seed, the Albuquerque Corn Hats, are going to be taking on the Philadelphia Banks. Banks yep. were a powerhouse last season, and they started this season off slow. They choked in the finals last season, started off slow this year, but they're here for vengeance. They're here to play. I think they're going to come out, and I have them winning the series. I have an upset coming. Just just to point out, you don't have to do the intro on the v and, uh, NHL, NHL navigation NHL. menu. You can set it up and then talk about it, talk but about it. continue. Why does it matter, bro? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Make sure overtime's right. Yeah. Don't yeah. screw up like last time. I hear an echo, by the way. Um. Is that better? Hello. Good boy. Yup. Here we go, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Going into game one of the Cornets and the Banks. I think it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good series. But I do see the upside coming. The Banks got vengeance. I had the I predict them to be the powerhouse team this year. I was wrong, but we'll see what happens here. Interesting. I mean, whoever really wins this series, are they really winning? Because they got to take on Gunner Glue. And that's going to be a really hard task for either of these teams to do. And here we go. The Cornets win the opening draw. Carter Nolan gets it up to Jacob Hall. Jacob Hall walks right in and scores! <laughs> that didn't take long. Jacob Hall in the first shot of the game. About 10 seconds in. Rookie of the year candidate. Probably Rookie of the Year finalist, and that was a quick one. Cornats up 1-0 early, and the Banks, they're going to need to recover from that. Road stick's not looking good so far. Yeah, Cosmo Ryder got benched earlier in the season for Troy Grosnick, who hasn't played well either, but... Riffin with a shot, save made by Carter Vicente. Vicente turns it over to Ron. Ruckus in front, he couldn't get a shot off. Now Thomas Allen, he's going to turn it over. But the Banks will get the puck. Robbie Ruckus comes up with it. His shot goes wide right. Griffin Gunther in the corner, drops it back down to the point. Jacob Hall interception, got one goal tonight. Let's see if he can make it two. Jacob Hall looks across for Garfield. Petita shot, save made by Troy Grosnick. Hall recovers, another shot, save made by Grosnick. Wow, this game is not disappointed yet. I might have to retract my statement of an upset. Cornhats have looked. Jacob Hall has, especially, has looked phenomenal. Gunther now to grab and transports. And they will turn it over without getting a shot off. Shane Moore up to Carter Nolan, last year's defensive player of the year. Let's see if he can make something happen. He gets body checked away from the puck, but Jacob Hall recovers. Back up to Nolan, a shot. 
Glove save as it flies into the air to the left of the goal. Garfield, but he comes up, pass across, and a gross stick. What a save on Jacob Hall, who had the second and a half of the net to shoot at, and Grosnick somehow made the save. You know, as much as as it could score, like it could be like f nine to ten this game, it would not be last series that we just watched yesterday. Yeah, last year, yesterday was Gunner Glue was just it was phenomenal. If you haven't watched that, the stream is up on the Twitch channel, so go watch that. Twitch.tv slash VHL for that too. What a series. Probably the best series of all of VHL history. And now a shot for the Banks. They scored tied up. Alex Ron at the top of the right circle. Right at the hashes. And Carter Vicente just, he couldn't track it. It's tied. 1-1. Both goalies not looking good. Interesting stat that I saw today when I was constructing the all-time stats, which I don't know if you guys have seen that or not, but only player in the VHL right now who has no goals is Troy Leroux. Very... Uh, I thought that was very interesting. But here come Cornets. Pass across, Paula shot save it. Petit scores! 2-1, he answers right back. This is going to be a good series, ladies and gentlemen. Garfield Petit off the shot from Jacob Hall. And Hall's got two points. Garfield Petit, absolute steal of a trade. He was a third rounder in season one. And he has been, I believe, a top six point scorer in the league. He's either five or six, but he's pretty insane. He is making a difference for the Coronats. Uh, MVP finalist, I believe, last season, and and offensive player of the year, I think. No, that was Alex. Oh, no, no. or yeah, finalist, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the winner. Garfield Petit in the corner to Shane Morrow. Alex Ron will recover. Alex Ron now up the ice. He's gonna go up the right side. He leads the VHL in goals in history, at I believe 34. Or 33, somewhere around that mark. All I'm saying is he knows how to put the puck in the net. And now an offensive zone takeaway here for the Banks. Carter Nolan pinned in the corner. Petit comes up with it. Robbie Ruckus now got it. To the point, to Allen, to transport, to grab. Shot blocked. Ron recovers, scores! Alex Ron, two goals as he levitates up from the ice after being knocked over. Wow. Both goalies are looking really shaky right now. Just as I was saying, Alex Ron, two goals. Um, he, he's the greatest goal scorer in the VHL right now. That's that's not a doubt. He didn't win the Rocket this year, but I just think that the Banks, if they would have had a good year, they would have. They would. He would have won the Rocket. I mean, not to brag, but uh, AJ has more goals all the time. Just want to put that out. That is not true. He is, leads the VHL in all-time goals. But he does. Yeah. And now a big chance there in front of the net. Turned aside. Oh. He leads by like one Let's or see. two. Yeah, by, by one. Well, now by three. I got to add playoff stats to that. Carter Nolan now up the left side. I guess. Skating in, and Radigan will take the puck in off sides and we'll get a stoppage here. 2 2, 16 minutes in, fed four goals. It's an average of one goal per four minutes. It's going to be a high scoring game. People Maybe can't call this rigged because the teams that the two commissioners run are not in the playoffs. Yeah, very so. true. <laughs> How much you want to bet if the Banks lose this? Griffin's going to say, why didn't you put Cosmo Ryder in? Most definitely. Griffin now a chance just, in front, saved by Vicente. Just tell him that he you know. Yeah. And now, time on attack. Banks are winning by a minute on time on attack. And... Cosmo Vicente, I believe, he's, he's made a couple, he's made some good saves, but... 
Those two, you really, you gotta have them. And now another chance for the Banks in front. That one's gonna hit the right pad of Asante. The monkey man and they clear. Asante's been a, uh, a top goalie in the league both years he's played. I believe he was number was two, Carter. Oh, uh, yeah. Now Allen a chance, shot blocked. Ruck is a shot, blocked as well. Shane Murrow takes it out, and they'll clear. Shane Murrow. Murrow. Now. Murrow. <laughs> and now the Banks, seven seconds to go in the period. Looking to see if they can get one more chance here. The Cornats will take it in. Radigan a shot, Grosnick will save, and I'll hold for the buzzer. That's what I'm saying. Carter Vicente, he's been the number two goalies in both seasons, but he is number three on the all-time stats because Gunnar Glund Kachekov barely beat him out. Kachekov, he's so good. Shots are eight to eight. Kachekov? You mean glue? Oh, no, Chekhov, I said he's still good. Yeah. That's surprising. Why? Yes, I didn't think you would say he's good. I mean, Gunnar Glue's better, but... Yeah, currently. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, currently, but also probably in the future. All time, Kachekov is the greatest goalie of all time, even though it's only been two seasons. Yeah, because Gunnar Glue's a rookie right now. <laughs> and here comes Alex Ron up the right side. And Griffin Gunther now, Alex Ron got it. Hornets will take over. A turnover behind the net. Ron, pass to Ruckus. Save made by Vicente. That's a big one. He's, he's going to hold on. Griffin texted me back finally. My backup, but I don't care. Okay. Just don't tell him that gross thing is up here. Yeah, it's on him to watch the game. Here comes Morrow. Morrow into the offensive zone. Griffin Gunther, Morrow, Hall. To Petit, shot blocked, recovered by Gunther. Now Robbie Ruckus. He turns it over to Petit. Petit across for Morrow. Pass down low. Jacob Hall could have come up with it, but he will get a shot off. Grosnick makes the save. off here, one by the Banks. Got some four check behind the net. Corn hats get in in their O zone. Battling for it. Morrow now to Radigan. Radigan to Petit. Petit down to Morrow to Hall. What a play! Jacob Hall, second of the night. Corn hats up to, on top for two. What a passing play from the Corn hats. Take the lead again. Banks have answered both goals they have scored. Let's see if they can answer this one. Allen up the right side to Gunther. Gunther to the left. Turns it over to Ruck. Now Ruck is behind the net to Gunther. Couldn't get the shot off. Here's Petit up the left. Petit to Moro. Shot couldn't find its way. Transports takes it out to Gunther. Gunther to the right side, the best player on this roster. Leads the team in points, leads it in all time points. Last season's MVP. And Petit now with it. Petit passes up to Jacob Hall. Drop pass to Moro. Moro tries to center it. Gunther intercepts, now Ruckus. Ruckus a dump in. Behind the net is Radigan. Radigan's got it. Pass up to Jacob Hall. Jacob Hall up the left. Jacob Hall dumps it in. Thomas Allen takes it. Thomas Allen was the second to last pick in the first overall, first ever draft, and he's been a key piece to this Banks defense. Even though he's a forward, he's been, they have had a top defense in the league both years, and you gotta give Thomas Allen some credit where it's due. Yep. 
And now the Cornets pass it from for Petiti scores! Garfield Petit gets his Gross section Nick. tonight. Troy Grosnick cannot stop a beach ball right now. Yeah, we're definitely but not stopping Griffin. The Banks are gonna have to get that goalie situation figured out in the offseason. Because I can tell you right now, the offseason is, good. is close. Yeah, was like like when there was one goalie in the league. Yeah. And now up the right side, the comments, the Cornets come up again. Find a strike for the fifth time tonight. Now the Banks, Ron, pass across, intercepted. Now Allen, he tries to make a play, Petit comes up with it. Petit goes between the legs, drops it, Hall picks it up, shot blocked. Penalty upcoming on the Cornets. Banks will go to the power play. And let's see what the call is. We're gonna have a tripping call or a slashing call. And Garfield Petit. He's got two goals tonight, and there he gets the penalty. He's played remarkably. Him and Jacob Hall both played pretty well. Banks need to score here from the power play. They do get the win. Allen passes it, couldn't find a shot. Nolan now in the corner. Gunther comes up, Alex Ron gets free! Vicente makes a save. Alex Ron got wide open in the front of the net and he was on his backhand, he couldn't do much. And now Shane Morrow will clear the puck down the ice. Transports will try to lead the rush with a minute to go in the power play. Cross to Gunther, trying to make a play. Pass to Allen. His shot save made by Carter Vicente. No, hold on. And now the Banks and the Cornets. Nolan wins the faceoff and they clear. Transports got in the defensive zone. 30 seconds to go the power play. Gunther gets blown up by Carter Nolan. And now Radigan the other way. Save made by Grosnick. He plays it out. Alex Ron to the right side. Alex Ron trying to beat the defenseman. He stops. Tarak is passed down to Gunther. He couldn't shoot it. And the Banks will hold it in. Gunther to Allen. And Carter Vicente wasn't sure he had it. I think it was between his legs. And he'll hold on. Good opportunities happening for both teams. Face off win for the Comets or the Cornets. I don't know why I keep calling them the Comets. Jacob Hall now's got it. Up the left side, dumps it into Thomas Allen and will intercept. Gunther now to the right or left side. And Gunther's got it again. Circles back. Pass across to the right to Ron to Ruckus. Ruckus gets intercepted by Hall. Board battle right by the Cornhats bench. Two minutes to go in the pot in the period. Griffin Gunther now up the ice. Gunther pass across, transport shot. Save made by Vicente. Vicente has came out of that locker room at the period as a new as a new goalie. First period he struggled. And in this period he's not let a single one in, so definitely found himself during that intermission. Here come the corn hats, poke checked away. By transports. Now we're on. Ron trying to get past the defense. He's trying to look for a lane. It's intercepted by Ron. All up the left. 20 seconds to go. He'll dump it in. Thomas Allen there. Body check. Gets it to Ron. Transport. Five seconds at half ice. Ron now intercepted by Morrow. And he'll dump and clear. 
Going into the third period, you're down two. What's the plan for the banks here, do you think, AJ? Uh, save a shot. Um, score a goal. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Here we go, period number three. The Banks get the puck first. Hornets defend it beautifully again. Brian Radigan's got it, Morrow, Nolan. Nolan looking for an outlet. He finds Hall. Hall now walking in, gets it to Petit. They're being very smart with this puck, not turning it over, and as I say that, they turn it over. But they majority of the first two minutes of the period and making some good passes. Thanks, Alex Ron. Looking for anything. He can't find it. Petit now gets it. To Nolan. Up for Morrow up the left side. Morrow cuts back. Morrow's got it again. Skating in. Morrow skates right in front. Looking for a shot. Grow stick recovered. And here we go. Banks looking for anything. They need a spark. Here comes Ron up the right side. In front! Nolan makes a beautiful defensive play. Ron gets it back. A shot save made by Vicente. Now a battle for the puck there. Hall gets it to Nolan. To Morrow. Morrow up the left. He gets it to Petit. His shot save made by Grosnick. Just make a save. Wow. Power player, get the penalty here. It's gonna give a chance to the Banks to get make it a one goal game. I mean, the Banks offense has been probably one of the best offenses in the league over the last two years, and they're just they're struggling against Carter Vicente, they're struggling against Carter Nolan, they're struggling against Dylan Radigan, and they need anything, anything they can get. Up the left side, Griffin Gunther cuts back, gives it to Thomas Allen. Looking for a lane. They turn it over to Petit. Nolan will clear. And the Banks transports the shot saved by Vicente. And Petit will get another clear. And that'll cut down a big chunk of time for their power play and the banks will turn it over yet again and that will do it for their power play and now the, the banks get a chance in front Vicente holds strong now for one but for two shots and Nolan now gets it eight minutes to go 
until they've won game one. Radigan now circles back to Hall to Petit. Petit looking for a pass, intercepted by Gunther. He turns it over to Moro. He turns it over to Ruckus. Transports to Ron. Cross for Ruckus to transport to Gunther. Gunther to Al into Ron. Back. I don't know if they got a shot off or if it just bounced towards the goalie, but Vicente got it in a hold. the banks getting some good shots off they know the game's on the line they know they gotta take these shots and as five and a half to go Cornet's coming down the ice Morrow to Petit to Nolan walking in tomorrow a shot he, hits the, he misses the net now Radigan's just gonna walk right in Radigan's gonna shoot that puck He's a wide open lane and he chose to pass it and they don't get a shot off. And now, face off coming as Grosnick will hold it. Now the Banks, Ruckus walks in. His shot bounces in the air. Vicente can't find it. Ron gets it. Vicente covers it behind him. Two minutes and 57 seconds to go. And the Banks are just looking for anything they can get. The Banks are dominating Eddie's offensively. But Grosnick just held them back. Yo, we're still waiting for a game three of VHL history. It's pretty sad. And now Thomas Allen's shot blocked. Nolan or card gets it. Nolan now is going to take it out, taking it all the way himself, gets it to Hall. Jacob Hall now. He turns it over to the Banks, 150 to go as they enter the zone. Pass down low from Ron to Ruckus to Gunther. Looking for a pass intercepted by Jacob Hall. See if he can get an odd man rush here, looking for any support he can get. They don't get it. Grossnake now is going to end up with a puck. And they'll hold on. And defensive zone draw with 56 seconds to go is now what you want if you're the Banks. Banks. Don't want to, they don't want to be a first round exit here, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for the revenge tour. Pass across to Hall. Couldn't find it. Pass in front for Petit. He's stopped by Grosnick. Gunther now, 40 seconds to go. Ruckus Grosnick to the net. Or to the bench. Ruck is now passed down low. Turned over. Turnover again. Ron in. Save made by Vicente. It was him versus the goalie. And the goalie won. And now Gunther, 24 to go. Pass down low. Ron's got it. Pass in front for Gunther. He turns it over. Up come the Cornets. Nolan to center ice. His shot's wide. 13 to go. Top yeah, that's down got it. Now in 10 seconds to go. Gunther now to Ratcliffe. He fans on it. Yeah. Oh. To Ruckus. They're wasting too much time here. Shot turned aside by Vicente. Cornas win game one. takeaways from this game? Uh, um, the, the Troy Grostick needs to learn how to save a puck. Um, the Banks need to learn how to put a puck in the net. Um, yeah. So, uh, what, do you, what do you think about this game? I've been I think the Banks dominated that game. Well, not maybe not dominated, but I think they would have won that game. 
if it weren't for Troy Grosnick. Okay. If you're Grosnick, you gotta play better next game. If you're the Comets, or if you're the Banks, you gotta consider putting in Cosmo Ryder. I mean, he has, he has the playoff experience that you need to win this game, and I think Grosnick just folded under pressure. Pretty impressive performance by Carter Vicente. As he let in six of the first, or let in two of the first eight shots, then after that, he stopped 15 straight, so. We're heading to Philadelphia to see if the Banks can keep their season alive. I'm gonna put their. Why is there alternate on wager? Stupid. Game number two. To move on to the final, the Com Cornets win. They will go to the final after missing the playoffs last year. Banks win, they'll force a game three, which will go back to Albuquerque. Who do you think's winning the series? Or who do you think's winning this game? I'll send the end over the Banks. I think their defense will do good enough to stop Grossnick from getting shots. I think it'll, it'll let them win. Ron now to Allen. Turnover early. Morrow up the ice. Makes a move. Gets a shot on net. Grosnick makes the save and holds on. Now the Banks. Defensive zone draw. Radigan a shot. Grosnick makes the save and holds on. Now Petit shot off the draw to the right of the net. Morrow a shot. Grostick makes the save. Passes it out to transport. They're testing Grostick early. They're shooting shots on net. Seeing what can what can go their favor. And Ruckus' shot saved by Vicente. I think that's exactly what you gotta do. If you're the bank, or if you're the cornet. You just gotta shoot as much as you can on net. You gotta test out Grostick. You gotta see how he does. And once he starts saving them, then you, you look for the better chances. Now Petit into the zone, gets it to Hall. His pass couldn't find a lane. Hall now turns it over yet again, but Petit comes up with it. Petit now passing it to Hall. Couldn't get a shot. Transport up the left side. Passes it to Griffin Gunther. Gunther, pass to Ron. I don't know how Ron lost that puck. Maybe it was poke checked away by the defenseman. Does get a shot. Saved by Vicente. Radigan to Nolan to Hall. Hall up the ice. Gunther intercepts. Down comes Gunther. To Ruckus. His shot couldn't find a lane. Now Petit. Looking for anything. Petit to Moro. Save made by the left pad of Grosnick. And I'll hold. And now the com the Cornets. Why do I keep saying the Comets? I swear. <laughs> They're both C's. I don't know. Just a reminder, whoever does win the series. We'll go play against the Chimichangas in the finals. 
if the Cornets win the series. Games one and three will be in Albuquerque. Game two will be in Chicago. And an opportunity there. Jacob Hall scores. Cornets up 1-0 off the rebound. Jacob Hall, absolute powerhouse for this Cornets offense. He proves it there. As a rookie, he's been so impressive and so fun to watch. And Jacob Hall's gonna get another chance here. Grosting makes the save. Lets up a dirty rebound. Petit tries to work to the front of the ace. He gets bodied off the puck. Now Morrow looking for something. Ruckus gets it tied up in the skates. But the Banks win this game, and they play the Chimichangas. They win this game and next game, and they play the Chimichangas in the finals. Games one and three will be in Chicago. Game number two will be in Philadelphia. Now a big hit there. Stunning the Cornets player. I'm not sure who that is, as they take a while to get to the ice. And now Radigan up the ice. Radigan trying to make a move. He gets stopped. Here come the Banks. Allen up the left. Pass across to Ruckus. Can he get a shot? Now Petit. He gets bodied. Allen recovers. To Gunther. To Ruckus. Ruckus. Offsides. Five minutes to go in the first. You're down 1-0. Gotta keep your season alive. Banks need a goal. Of oh, the Banks. Can't get even past center ice. Hall's got it. Looking for options to Petit. Shot blocked by Gunther. Now Ron up the left. Ron, pass across to Allen. Poke checked away. And here's a big chance for the Cornhats. Morrow's gonna get in on a breakaway. Shot saved by Grosnick. He bodies him down to the ice. He puts his ass on the floor. <laughs> and Grosnick takes a nap on the puck and we'll get a whistle. Grosnick gets absolutely rocked there by Shane Morrow. And now Hall off the faceoff chooses to pass that puck back. Very interesting decision. Morrow shot saved by Grosnick. Now Ruckus couldn't find a shot. Ron finds a shot. Tie game, Alex Ron. He's 100% on the left side. I believe that's a, that's a stick side, and he goes high blocker. 1-1. And... One, one. Alex Ron is just, he's such an elite goal scorer for this team. And you put him with elite playmaker Griffin Gunther, Robbie Ruckus, who is just, a great third guy to have on the line. And then you give him two awesome defensemen. Maybe not awesome, but two, two solid defensemen. That's a good five right there. The main concern in the offseason has to be figuring out Troy Grosnick, figuring out Cosmo Ryder. Do you, do you trust the development of Cosmo Ryder? Or do you, do you try to make a trade? Um, no, I'll keep Carter. I mean, if you want to make like a tiny trade. You mean Cosmo? Uh, oh, yeah, Cosmo. I think it's Carter. Um, Co yeah, no, Cosmo, yeah, he's doing good. He might just suck right now, but I would keep him. In the worst case, put him as a backup trade for a starter. But, yeah. One thing to note about this, this team, the Banks, is they might be in salary cap trouble. They have every single player except for, I believe, Griffin to re-sign. So, might be a little hard for them to fit all these good players in their salary cap. We'll see what ends up happening.
marshmallow is like the weirdest food ever. A marshmallow? Mm -hmm. Eat that. Gee, marshmallows. The big ones, the small ones. Big. We're jumbo. Interesting. I can't eat marshmallows just plain. I have to have them on like a spore or like in something. S'mores are so good. They yeah. are. I don't even want to eat this. It's so much sugar. 16 grams of sugar and one marshmallow. How many did you eat so far? Like half. I'm throwing it away. <laughs> Throw it away? <laughs> Page bottom for me, so I have to like eat them so that she knows I'm eating them. Uh, I like pink or something. No, they're just white. If I asked her to buy me marshmallows as a joke, so she did. I left yeah, was pink and you made them white. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I want to eat something, but I don't know what to eat. Sorry for the lack of commentary. You know, I'm looking for something. Yeah, yeah, I'm with the talking about my food. See if anyone's even watching. It says we have two viewers. One of them's me. Who's the other viewer? You like click on it and see who they are. No, that's like, I don't think so, because like, it says you have like two and then you click on it, it shows like five people. I'm on my phone, so like, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, we're just that famous. Jacob Hall gets a goal here, puts the Cormits back up. The corn hats. Troy Grosnick. Can't say it enough. He is the absolute opposite of Gunner Glue. They might as well just put a six skater on the ice. <laughs> oh. We might not see a game three if this keeps going like this. History repeats itself. No game three will ever happen in VHL history. We're not getting another good chance. That's stopped by Grosnick. Now Gunther to transport. Turns it over. Allen has the ice. Gonna take it all the way back into his own zone. Is it a way to ruckus? Up the ice for Gunther. Looking for a burst of speed. He can't find one. Gunther now. Ron's got it. Ron turns it over to Petit. Shane Morrow. Carter Nolan. Nolan a chance, what a move! Carter Nolan gets the toe drag. An absolute beautiful goal to put the Cornets up to. What a beauty. A rare defenseman goal. And it's gonna be a big one for the Cornets. Do you think is if the Cornets make it to the finals, Chicago's gonna win. They're not gonna win the President's Trophy and the Cup. It's not gonna happen.
You know what would be so funny? What? If, uh, the Cornets win. <laughs> and then they get relocated. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. The Banks get a goal though, as Alex Ron goes around the world, gets Carter out of his net, and Alex Ron, he has been in at least, he's been the best player for the Banks, no doubt about it. He might have all their goals, I think he does have all their goals. His fourth goal of the series. And they're within one. Here the Cornets come back the other way. They turn it over. Four to go in the second period. Now transports to Gunther. To Ron. Shot blocked. Tries again. Shot blocked. Shot on net. The roasting makes a save. Turns it over and he makes another save and he'll hold on. Another shot on net, Gross Nick will hold on for another save. Bum, 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 bum. See, one good thing about losing this game is your draft position. What's that? If the Banks lose this game, they're going to have a better draft position. Maybe they could draft a better goalie. Uh, yeah. Why do you want the banks doing so bad, Clara? What's the difference? Cornets are the Comets' rival, so. That's true. Yeah, I forgot. I think the Comets. Comets and Cornets are a rivalry. TikTokers and Clownfish. And then everyone hates the banks. The banks are. The banks are like. Who's a hated NFL team? The banks are the Cowboys, of the NFL. No, they're the Eagles. Because yeah. They're Philadelphia. I'd say the TikTokers are. They're the Rams. Comets are. Comments could be. Hmm. Comments could be the Chargers. They're like mid every season and then get eliminated early in the playoffs. The Clownfish are. I don't know who Tom for sure. And the corner has gets some good pressure. Puck off the cross bar and goes in. What kind of goal is that? Moro takes a shot, it bounces off the goalie, off the crossbar, and in. A P-roller. The Comet, the Cornets are back up to. Wowzers. I know says you sound, you sound great. Thank you, thank you, Claydoo. Claydoo, what are your thoughts on, uh, the comments performance last night. I'm not asking you this for 
like out of envy, I'm asking this out of curiosity. Like, what are your plans going into the off season? Oh, and a breakaway here for the Cornets. Shot saved by Grosnick. Now, all the shots saved by Grosnick. Banks can't get the puck out here. So if the Banks lose this game, they will get the number three overall pick. The Cornhats lose, and then they lose next game. The Comets will get the number three overall pick. Now the bank's up the other way. Ruckus down to Ron. Ron has every goal in the series for the bank, so you gotta look for him. Radigan now takes it away from Ron to Moro. Cross half ice. Moro to Hall, a shot saved by Grosnick. What play do you say? Didn't say anything yet. I don't know if he's still watching. Yeah. Who are all these randos? You mean? Zero one Ella. Dude, we got an E girl watching our Twitch. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we'll send the snap. No, I think she's a view bot. She's live right now, so I don't really know how she'd be watching this. I'm gonna click on her stream. Now, holler shot saved by Grossnick. What if I click on her stream and it's just her restreaming ours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Now, Jacob Hall. To Radigan. To Moro. Turns it over. Thomas Allen in the corner. Penalty on the Cornats coming here. Banks got an empty hat. Pass across for the one timer. They couldn't get the shot off. And the, pot, the Banks will go to the power play as Shane Moro will take a seat in the bench. Chatter just like bots. <laughs> we have a furry in our chat. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Now, Gunther, forty five to go in the power play. Looks for Ron. Ron gets his shot off. Saved by Vicente. He'll play it to Nolan. Nolan will clear. Banks crowd is dead silent. Not much to be happy about here, Banks fan. Ron the Gunther to Ron. Vicente slides over and makes the save. President's Trophy last year, made it to the finals, gets swept by the underdog TikTokers. This year they barely sneak into playoffs. I mean they weren't expected to win this matchup, but to get swept. Shush. Only two teams have made the playoffs both years, and that's the Banks and the Comets.
Up come the banks. Grunk is now in front, so Grunther couldn't pull the trigger. A minute to go. Now Petit in front. Grosnik makes a big save. Probably Grosnik's best save of the night. Now Hall stopped away by Thomas Allen. Morrow, you've got to clear this puck if you're the Banks. And they do. They get to the red line, empty net for the Banks as they turn it over. Pornats are going to take over. This is not looking good. You need to stop this puck. They do. They're going to get it. Ratcliffe with 27 to go. Out of the defensive zone, past the red line, Thomas Allen. They're off sides. Radcliffe gets it. Allen, 20 to go. They turn it over to Shane Morrow. Turn it over again, Morrow with it. Gunther now. Walks in, makes a move. Another move. Shot on net. Vicente makes the save with his mask and holds. 10 seconds to go. Offensive zone face-off empty net here. You need two goals. I don't see it happening. Fans are leaving their seats already. Off the face-off, Allen shot deflected wide. Radigan holds it in the corner. Three to go, two, one. The Cornets are going to the finals. Like I said, there's no game three. You, uh, what are your thoughts on this game? Don't you? That was... I, I mean, the Banks played well. It, this wasn't a, a sweep. It didn't look like a sweep. It's Grosnick. You got you to gotta fix the goalie situation. That is their only hole. Offense struggled. But so did their goaltending. Now, before we go into the finals here, do you think Gunner Glue has a chance against this red hot offense on the Corn Hats? Yes. Gunner Glue is like Gunner Glue is like a chef's kiss. The Corn Hats Why are literally the chef. I think Gunner Glue is going to get eaten alive. No. Alright, stream is going to go back online. We're back offline. We'll be back online in about five minutes. I'm going to go and put the stats in, give my throat a rest, and then we'll, we'll be ready to, set, to fire up the finals. Yep. So we will see you guys then. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in five.